your local admin passwords are protected with laps but what if the password is not stored in intune portal what if you need access to a device but there is no way to retrieve the local admin password recently we encountered multiple situations where laps was enabled via the intune policy but the password were not getting stored in the intune or entra id portal this result service desk team and other admins were not able to log in to the device using the laps password our client raised the concern and requested a detailed report which device have laps properly configured and which don't have but here is the catch intune does not provide the report out of the box so what is the solution let's first understand the objective of this video the objective of this video is to identify all intune managed devices where laps local administrator password solution password are not being stored in intune portal and what is the solution so we have to create a custom powershell script to scan each device and verify the laps password is properly backed up in the intune portal or not in this video i will walk you through the script and show how to generate a detailed csv report highlighting which device have the password stored and which don't have this will help you to assess the compliance and create a solid remediation plan to close the gap before we dive in if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any further videos according to the youtube analytics a large number of viewers watch my videos without subscribing so if you find this helpful show your support by subscribing it really encourage me to keep creating more time saving automation content like this for you so right now i am on my client machine and i am using windows sandbox to perform the demo so if you go to the intune portal and go to the windows devices and open any device let's say i am opening desktop this device and if you go to the local admin password we can see that the no local admin password found for this device let's check the other device called j1 and if we again go to the local admin password for this device we can see that the local admin password is stored on this device we can also see the last password rotation and the next password rotation so think about a scenario where you already deployed the laps policy on all the windows devices and you want to find out how many device where the laps password is stored versus how many device where the laps password is not in stored so in this video i am going to show you exactly the same thing how you can pull that information using powershell script so to find this information you have to run a powershell script i already developed the powershell script and i will share this script with you i will provide the link in the description section and i already downloaded that script in my download folder let me open the powershell as an administrator because i am using windows sandbox that's why i can't use powershell isc and let's first set the execution policy bypass so that we can run the powershell script and now let me load the powershell script that powershell script is in my download folder so let me go to the download folder and let me load the powershell script labs key missing report for intune device and run this script so what that script will do it will create a temp folder if not present and it within that temp folder it will save the report and it is also going to install the required module if it is not already installed let me hit yes
and now we have to log in with the into admin account let me log in with let me log in with in and now we can see that this account needs some special permission to run this report this account need read device local credential properties microsoft intune device or device user basic information and we have to request admin to provide this permission so let me give the justification called demo and click on request approval now what will happen this will send a request to the entra or the global administrator and the person who authorized to approve this request they can approve the request so let's close this and let me log in with the entra account and this time i'm login with the global credentials and if we go to the enterprise application under the activity if you go to the admin consent request we can see that now we have a request and admin can review and provide the consent they can allow or they can deny also so let me click on review and consent let me log in with the global credentials and then i have to click on accept now admin provided the consent to use this permissions so let me again go to the script and again run the same script And now we can see that it started checking the lab status in Intune for each and every device one by one. And so if your environment is very big, then definitely it will take a longer time because here we are checking per device status and creating a report. And now we can also see that the summary where we have 37 devices in Intune portal out of which only for one device labs password is stored in Intune portal for 34 device password is not stored and two device not found in Entra portal meaning that device is present in Intune but not in Entra portal and the compliance percentage is 2.37. So now we know that we have more device where password is not stored in engine portal and we have to take a corrective action. And if you go to the C drive and temp folder, we can see that the labs password report. And if you open this labs password report, we can see that we have device name, primary email ID, primary user display name, device ID, enrollment date, enrollment type, last second date device azure id os compliance status as well and in last we can see the labs password status we can see that for most of the devices labs password not stored in intune and for only one device labs password is stored in the intune portal and you can also create a pivot table to check the same data let me create it quickly labs status we can see that labs password not stored on 36 devices and labs password is stored for one device in Intune portal. And now with this information, you have a clear cut picture and you can create an action plan to fix this non-compliant devices. So that's all I want to show you in this video.